Our product is, is a perfusion device that pumps blood throughout the organ in transit, allowing the, the, the organ to function normally outside the body. The current uh, problem with organ transplantation at the moment is the limited time we have. We're currently using boxes with ice, full of ice, to transport organs, uh, and that really reduces the time of the organ outside the body. The time that we have is only four hours. So if we are able to extend that, which we have uh, in our research been able to extend for up to 10 to 12 hours, uh, then we can extend the life of the organ in transit, which means that we can procure organs for much, from much further distances. In Australia and worldwide, the major issue in a donation of organs is that there's been a significant trend. Fewer, younger hearts and organs in general coming from patients from road vehicle accidents, for example, and an increasing number of patients who are more elderly, who therefore have other medical conditions, um, who are dying from... Uh, intracerebral or brain hemorrhages. And so those organs aren't, of course, as good as the younger ones. And we often have to turn down these hearts because we have no other way of being able to resuscitate them. But by taking it from the donor, putting it in a machine that allows us to then study it, if you will, in this incubator, in this sort of resuscitative mode, allows us to not only look at it functionally, but to allow it to improve potentially, to test its function, and then only, if appropriate, transplant into the recipient. So our journey commenced uh, four years ago at the University of New South Wales with the assistance of New South Innovations. We were recognised uh, by the Australian Design Awards uh, as a finalist. The design was also uh, exhibited at the Powerhouse Museum for 12 months. We've now conducted some clinical trials and we're satisfied that the, the next stage that we need to go to uh, is to design a prototype that we can take to investors. We're doing about 100 heart transplants in Australia a year. Um, around, worldwide, we're around 4,000 per annum. But the technology as we see it for this device is whereby this machine alone can accommodate different disposable modules of the different organs in the same device and therefore serving a much wider market and therefore you've got lungs which are probably around another 4,000 a year in the world but livers and kidneys were going into many thousands. There will be more organs available, it means less people will die on the waiting list and it means that uh, we will be able to save more lives.